Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Inti Automation. Today, I'm gonna introduce you a new tool called RSS.app. This is the number one source of RSS feeds. Uh, you can connect with information you care about and get RSS feeds from almost any website or any web page. You're right, any website, almost every website. I really love this website. I mean, this tool. You don't need a coding and uh, you have so many things you can do especially you can filter the feeds normally most of other tools you cannot filter the feeds or some free way to generate rss for example in last video i i shared how to get google news rss feeds url i mean you could do it but you cannot filter it this is a problem some of uh, friends want to filter the rss feed because they don't want to get everything from that specific feed. So this tool come into a picture. I'm gonna put the link in the comment section or description section if you want to use it, you can try. They have a free version. And after you register, you're gonna see this kind of page. In the middle, is it says create a new feed or right up corner, create a new feed. In the left bottom corner, it says free plan. This is my free account, free plan account. In this free plan, zero dollars per month, you can have a two RSS feeds, but uh, you cannot filter. So in order to get the filter, you're gonna purchase at least basic plan, eight dollars per month. It's just one launch fee. You're gonna enjoy a super powerful RSS tool. So let's try the free plan first. It says any convert any web page into a feed into a RSS feed. Let's have a look. Let's click, click create. It says, hey, can you enter URL? Or they already have a pre-template. There are so many pre-template, like BBC News, CNN News, USA Today News, RSS feed. Let's have a look at the BBC News. You create, uh, what topic? BBC News is so big. They have a sports news, business news. Let's see, sports news, try now. You just click it after five to 20 seconds depends on the web page it's five seconds we already have a feed see this see this said do you want to save it yes let's save it and this feed is already ready look xml file because rss feed is xml file right here you can just copy and use it you can use on the automation tools as i described in the last video or you can use all kind of way you want you can even put in your code just using this RSS feed, it's a free. And if you want to filter, you can come here, see filter. But it says filters are available only for premium or developer or pro plans, not in the free plans. But if you don't want to filter, you just want to get the RSS feeds from BBC Sports, you can just use a free plan. But now I'm going to show you the uh, developer plan because I purchased developer plan. Let me show you how it looks like. So this is my developer plan. I have so many, so many RSS feeds because I have a lot of different social platform accounts to use a feed to share news and other tweets. You can even generate tweets into a RSS feed. Let's see, new feed on the right up corner, you click it. You can generate Twitter RSS feeds. You can generate uh, Instagram RSS feed. Let's back to the BBC News, for example. Uh, sports let's try now in just a few seconds they already have a pre-template if you don't uh, see the website you want you can just uh, input the url see here you can click filter in this filter you can filter out which means hide the post which is if this post has no image no thumbnail let's just hide it if there's no security links hide it if duplicate duplicates description hide it because some website they post several times the same article you don't want to uh, send your end user duplicate uh, website duplicate news and you can even put the whitelist blacklist for example is this real someone pinch me ask scott for example i don't want you uh, i don't want to see this any news about the scott you can blacklist right here let's try blacklist s c o t t scott and add it see there are the blacklist this is hide which means the color is different and uh after you put the, your rss feed in your program or your automation bot 
the bot will not send this specific uh, feed. It's going to jump to the next one because we already put the blacklist. It's so cool. You want a clean title, which means right here, if this is dash and after dash, there's a website name, uh, you can just uh, wipe it, clean title. Or you don't want to, you, you want to the title, you just choose it right here. See, it's pop out again. And right here, you want to hide the old post, you can choose like a hide after two days, after one day, you can hide it. You can even replace and remove text at the rule right here. You can replace in the title, uh, what word into what word. This is so cool. There are so many uh, functionality and uh, you can even see the widgets. Let's see. See, looks like this beautiful widgets. You can even uh, copy this code if you are a programmer. You can add this code to your website and in your website, uh, you're going to show like exactly like this. Normally, we don't want to use that. We just copy the XML file and uh, you can use this XML file into any tools you want. This is pre, uh, this is a pre template. There are, there are so many pre templates already uh, here. Or you can find the topics. Look, there's a world news, crypto news. If you click crypto news, it's only about crypto news feed. And you have a feed XML, you just copy it and you can use anywhere you want. Or if let's for example, if there's a random uh, if there's a random website, my website, let's see, this is my uh, Twitter website, twitter.com slash inti. And I wanna convert my Twitter website web page into a RSS feed. We can also do copy paste and come here, new feed and uh, paste my website name, which means twitter.com slash inti. I'm going to wait 5 to 20 seconds. It's going to convert, as it said, convert almost any website web page into a RSS feed. Let's see, save this feed. Now, this become a feed. And in this feed, this feed is ready. See, XML file. I can just copy it and use to anywhere. And I can send my tweet into any Telegram or Twitter or other area, other platform to you by using my XML feed. You can even filter it. See, that's no image. For example, my first, second, uh, first and second post right here doesn't have an image. Let's see. If I don't have an image, I don't want to send this tweet to my Discord. Let's see. No image. Hide it. See, they hide this tweet. So we we're gonna only send a, a tweet with images to my uh, other platform. You can filter here. It is amazing tool. I recommend. You guys to try it out and uh, they have a free plan but free plans you don't have a, a filter functionality normally if you want to use this app you want to use a filter functionality uh, if you have any question about this tool please leave a comment in the comment section and uh, i'm gonna check it out uh, i will try my best to answer your questions and if you want to try to use this tool please click link in the description i'm gonna see you in next video bye bye